Hello Sumo fans and welcome to another episode of the Sumo News right here on World of Sumo. I'm Scott Finlay and let's get you up to date with all the latest from the Sumo world this week. The 79th All Japan Sumo Tournament, which is a knockout scenario, was held after three years of cancellations due to COVID. Entered by 32 Makuchi Rikishi, with the winner of this year's being the young dragon himself, Sekiwaki Hoshoru, who beat stablemate Macy in the final bout. Winning by Kotonagi after being pushed to the edge by Macy, he was all smiles saying, I train with him every day. He's become very strong, so I was looking forward to going all out. I'm really happy. Fun fact, in October of 2002, his uncle, the former Yokozuna Asashoru, won the tournament as an Ozeki for the first time and went on to win his first Yusho a month later. Could history repeat itself? <laughs> Upon hearing this, he said he would gamberize, of course. <laughs> the usual answer. Next up, this week, Yokozuna Terunofuji attended Wellness Station Ryogoku 2022, an event held at JR Ryogoku Station in Tokyo to think about health and disabilities. He served as a one-day Paraspo cheering ambassador. He played boccia with fans and those in attendance. Boccia is a precision ball sport related to bowls. The sport is contested at local, national and international levels by athletes with severe physical disabilities. It was originally designed to be played by people with cerebral palsy, but now includes athletes with other severe disabilities affecting motor skills. And in 1984, it became a Paralympic sport. Terry Nafuji compared the game to sumo and said, the rules are easy, but when you do it, it's difficult. Sumo wrestling is the same. The rules are easy, but when you do it, it's not so easy. When I heard about this event, I thought I would cooperate as much as possible, adding that he would like to continue to support them in his own way. As for his knee, his current physical condition is apparently okay. As for the upcoming autumn tour or Jungyo, he said, I want to do what I can to the best of my ability. So, I guess we will just have to wait and see, Sumo fans. Up next, former Komasubi Chio Otori's Shiki took place this week on the 5th. The event was held at the Kokogikan, but there was no Hanazumo, and it took place in one of the smaller halls as 300 cutters took a snap, including some doyo faves like Takayasu, Ura and others, and as always, his hilarious brother Chiyomaru. I read it could be due to scheduling reasons, but who knows, officially taking the name Sanoyama. Another fun fact, that was also the elder name former Ozeki Konishiki took on his own retirement before he left the GSA. While on Konishiki, check out our interview with him over on our sister channel Inside the Doyo, where he does not hold back when he talks all things sumo from amateur and professional. He talks his new project with Naro, and if you're interested in his latest work, which I highly recommend for any fan, and especially those that participate in the sport itself, use the promo code WORLDOFSUMO15 and claim your 15% discount now, link in the description. As mentioned in a previous video, Sumo News number 58 to be exact, link in the description for that as well, on October 6th through the 7th, Fan Appreciation Day or Fan Festival, depending on which sign you read, will be held at the Koko Gikan in over two days along with fans' interactive events. A number of records will be attempted. The first being who could do the most to gata inside a minute between ex Yokozuna Hakoho, the current Miyagino Oyakata, current Yokozuna Terunofuji, and about to be ex Ozeki Mitakuyumi. Of course, surprise to nobody, Miyagino Oyakata, aka Hakuho, dominates with 104. Mitakuyumi, who was hilariously patted down before going, gets a decent 75. And Terry Nafuji, who was all smiles, just came short at 74. Of course, that's now Hakuho added yet another world record to his list of Guinness titles. 
Still to happen on the 7th is the record for how many people can simultaneously do Shiko. The record stands at 250 and a Chanko Yokozuna competition with Hakaku, Michinoku, Kasugano, Miyagino and Shikoragama Bears vying for the cup, or in this case, pot. <laughs> and that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. I will be sure to update you all again on those Chanko and Shiko results, as well as any other news that comes out over these coming days. As always, thank you for watching, and Sumo fans, remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell, oh what a nugget! What